face of it, Peter, we would appear to have a high caliber meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in. And this becomes a big incentive. It changes the dynamic. So there's plenty at stake for them, which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction and hopefully the style of contest. So off we go then. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Jorginho. The kind of player that can pass a team to death. At first, a lot of his passes seem a little safe and conservative, but they all serve a, a bigger purpose, slowly shifting the opposition from side to side. Once there is that little bit of space to work in, then the killer instinct usually kicks in and he's able to deliver that decisive pass. He would be the obvious choice, wouldn't he? He certainly has all the right qualities. And here's Mbolo. Oh, good spread. Swings it across. Mancini can get it clear. Zaccagni. Italy are clearly looking to use the space at the flanks here. With a view to, to what exactly, Jim? Well, it can encourage the fullbacks to get involved and increase their chances of more service into the box. And it's Mbolo. Now then, the ball's come loose. Chiesa. He's found a way past. It's not the game we were hoping for, Peter. I think both of these keepers could text about their respective uninvolvement. Sends it crossfield. That's Chiesa. Di Lorenzo. Chiesa. Oh, such a clever touch. Danger averted for now. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Di Lorenzo. That's Chiesa. Di Lorenzo. A searching ball that into space. Chiesa. Mancini. Gently done. And it's Jorginho. Bout of passing here, really. Skamaka! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. And that has been cleared. Barella. Passing nice and neat. Showing good feet. Swung in towards the middle. No way through, so back it comes. Barella and the shot he's been off try uh, that's a little unfortunate he had a lot of people worried then Zakaria. The goal now would certainly liven things up. And Ricardo Rodriguez. Look, it's a it's a run defense is this like, but the timing has to be spot on. 
Chiesa absolutely focused then on the defensive side of his game. Ah, he's dealt with that very well, Peter. It's a, a real show of discipline. It's an inviting looking ball, that. Chiesa. The muscular approach does pay off here. And that'll be the final action of the first half. I mean, there's been a half largely of could haves and should haves. Perhaps the more impatient amongst the supporters will feel they're overdue a goal. But it's certainly not for the want of trying, so nothing to show as yet. And the break, it's nil-nil. Some first-half thoughts? Well, they look lost for ideas and, and lacking in talent, which all contributes to a, a chronic case of impotence. And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. Switzerland can be very glad that half-time came when it did. Poor possession and very little firepower means they need a serious pickup and climbs up big! He will be livid with himself. Ah, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Granit Xhaka. And it's Xhaka. It's Mbolo. And it's played forward. And here's him, and he'll shoot here. Brilliant save from Tolaruma. Keeper pulls up a fine save. Mbolo simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. El Sharawi. And he's got his range wrong there. And here's Mbolo. It's a Mbolo! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Shaka. Here comes the cross. Mancini gets it away. Italy can start a counter here. Barella. Chiesa. Di Lorenzo. No breakthrough and well into the second period. It is still anyone's game. Shad is there to heave it away. Shad knocks it away. What a throw in. And it's Jorginho. Over to the left. 
And here's El Sharawi. Shad gets good distance on it. They're back in possession and ready to go again. Lovely feet. Opts to play it back. And he's there to get it away. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Shakiri. Look, there has to be more urgency here. The ball has to get to the other end much faster. Now it's Chiesa. Skabaka! Oh, it's in! And that might well be that! Perhaps deserves a little bit of sympathy here because that's a goalkeeper's nightmare. It's, it's clear that the keeper was unsighted by his defence and by the time he picked up the flight of that, it was too late. Italy are making a change now. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Italy take what looks to be a decisive lead. Well, look, Peter, I feel I've got to stress that there's still time for another, so we can't be too presumptuous yet. Shakiri. Fourth official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. Now it's Mbolo. Smoothly does it. And that's aimed into the middle. And that has been cleared. And that will be the final act.